Hi, I'm Shirley Catalina. This is part two of the structured pack walk. First, what we did with the dogs, they uh, had some recess, went to the bathroom in my yard, not the neighbor's. And now we go on a structured pack walk with all the dogs. And um, a structured pack walk is where the dogs are not pulling you forward, you're not following them, um, you are basically showing them where you want them to be. So it's like getting in the classroom. It's teaching them to think and where they need to be. They don't get to go hunting. They don't get to go moth every neighbor's mailbox if they're a male. Some females will do that too. So here's the structure pack box. Okay, let's go. Come them walk individually so they know what it looks like, you know, or feels like, not looks like. And sometimes your leash is like the phone line for the dog, so I'm like communicating a little bit if I feel one of the dogs is just getting pushy. I'm doing circles for purposes of being able that you guys can see filming. But I'm, I'm going to leave and head on down the road and um, just remember your dog shouldn't be pulling you anywhere. They go to the bathroom in your yard, not your neighbor's yard. And they don't go hunting, which when they're pulling in front of you, they are leading the pack. That's what it means by when you've heard from other people saying, what's a pack walk? And some of my clients thought a pack walk was any time your dog uh, was um, basically on a walk with you, but they could pull you around. So, um, it's important that your dog has a clear understanding. You don't do a bunch of corrections. If you have a dog that has aggression issues, we need to address that. Make sure that you get you know help with that if you don't understand. But don't let it keep the dog keep rehearsing aggressive behavior towards other dogs, growling at you when grooming. Any time you rehearse a behavior over and over again, uh, the dog. Um, the chances, the likelihood of the dog doing that again is pretty good. Um, I saw a man yesterday whose dog had jumped out of his pickup truck. He called the dog. The dog came to him. And when the dog arrived, the gentleman hit his dog, threw it abruptly in the pickup truck. And the odds of that dog coming back to him are decreasing every time you punish your dog for returning to you. They're not human. So don't punish your dog when they, you know, come to you or they'll associate coming to you with bad things. So just like when they are becoming aggressive, you gotta be careful when you do that uh, uh, correction because they can associate other dogs with bad things happening and then you're increasing the likelihood that they'll be aggressive towards another dog when you're on your pack walk, when they lunge at bicycles. So it's important to layer different teachings prior to getting out. You don't just start yanking on a dog and correcting them and tell, keep screaming uh, no because um, uh, you're actually creating a type of superstition towards bi bicycles or people in strollers or um, car chasing. So we want dogs to want to get in the car, but we don't want them chasing cars. But that's a little bit more <laughs> that you needed to know. But this is just a structured walk. I'll take another circle and then we're going to head out. All right. Um, call me if you have any questions. Go. Right. That's what it looks like all the way down the road. Hope you have a great day.